to work on mysql database projects or to learn sql we must have mysql database server installed and running on our windows operating system hi my name is pradnyank kurnikam i am a freelance web developer and udemy instructor this video tutorial is a step by step guide which will teach you how to download and install mysql 8 database server on windows 11 operating system let's get started on windows 11 operating system open the web browser and enter mysql.com this is the official website of mysql 8 database click the downloads menu to open the downloads page on the downloads page scroll down and you will find mysql community gpl downloads link gpl means general public license click the link to open the mysql community downloads page there are various mysql products but for mysql 8 database server installation we need a mysql community server installer go ahead and click the link on mysql community server download page at the time of recording of this video the latest mysql version is mysql 8.0.32 go to mysql installer for windows link if you find a new version you can either download the latest available release or you can click this archives tab select the product version you want for operating system select microsoft windows and you get the msi download links for mysql 8 installer you can download the one with a large file size here in this tutorial i will go with the latest release so i will press back to go to the mysql community downloads page under select operating system make sure microsoft windows is selected here you can see there are two msi installer files the msi means microsoft windows installer it is a standard installer package for windows operating system from these two installers the first one with a small file size is mysql downloader and installer package while the second one with a large file size contains all files required for the installation so download the one with a large file size click the download button if you want you can sign up for an oracle web account this is an optional step so i will skip the sign up window by clicking no thanks just start my download link and save the file to my computer to save some time i already have downloaded the file in my downloads folder so i will cancel this download and go to my downloads folder now let's start with the mysql 8 installation double click the mysql 8 installer file press the yes button to continue it should take less than a minute to extract the files again press yes to launch the installer now the mysql 8 installer has been started the first step is choosing a setup type on this window there are five different setup types here we can select a setup type and in the setup type description you can read more information about a selected setup type the developer default type will install all mysql products for development the products like mysql server mysql shell mysql router mysql workbench and so on the server only option will install only mysql server while client only option will install mysql client products used to connect to mysql server the products like mysql shell mysql router mysql workbench and so on the full install type will install all the products and features available with this installer we will select a custom type of setup so that we can customize the products and the path for mysql click next here on the select products window on the left side column we have available products for the installation click the plus sign in front of mysql servers under mysql server and mysql server 8.0 select mysql server 8.0.32 x64 
If you do not see MySQL Server products here, the most probably the new version isn't available for your configuration yet. In that case, you will have to cancel this installation and download the previous table release from the archives page we saw earlier. Alright, once you select the MySQL Server here, make sure you click this green right arrow button which will include the selected software in the installation. Follow the same steps for Applications, MySQL Workbench, MySQL Workbench 8.0 and select MySQL Workbench 8.0.32 and click the right green arrow button. Similarly, if you want to exclude an application from the installation, select it from this right side window and click this left arrow button and the application will not be installed. I will include the MySQL Workbench once again and click the next button. Depending on pre-installed softwares, you may or may not require to install other essential softwares. In my case, I need to install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. I will select the application and click this execute button. Select I agree checkbox and click install button to install the required software. And close the window. Once all the required software is installed successfully, click the next button. Now the setup is ready to install the selected products that is MySQL Server 8.0.32 and MySQL Workbench 8.0.32. Click the execute button. It will take a couple of minutes or less to complete the installation. If both products are installed successfully, you will get the status here as complete. Click next. And now we are on the MySQL product configuration window where we can set up MySQL port number, root user password and much more. Click next to start the configuration. On the type and networking window under config type, the development computer uses a minimum amount of memory. Server and dedicated computer options are mainly used for web servers. So select the development computer option. Some applications or computers use IP address and port number to connect to remote host for data exchange. By default MySQL 8 uses a port number 3306. In case you already have installed MySQL 8 server on your computer, you will see a yellow mark over here. It means the port number 3306 is already in use. In that case, you can change the port number to something other than 3306. You can use a port number like 3307. If you don't see a yellow mark, you can keep the default port number 3306. In my case, the port number 3306 is available, so I will keep the default value. All other options are fine. Click Next. The new MySQL 8 version by default uses SHA-256 encryption method to encrypt and store database user passwords. Using SHA-256 encryption is more secure compared to the previous version of MySQL. The use of legacy authentication method is suggested only if you want to make this installation compatible with MySQL 5 version. In our case, we don't need MySQL 5 compatibility, so I will use the latest password encryption method and click Next. Please note, this is very important step, so pay all your attention. Just like operating system installation, we create a new user or administrator who will be using that operating system. In case of MySQL, by default, it creates a username called root user. The root user is an administrator and has all the privileges of a MySQL database. So we must use a very strong password. And most importantly, Remember the password or note it down somewhere. I will enter my password. In my case, I will use a simple password. But in your case, make sure to use a combination of letters, numbers and special characters. You can add additional users from this following section. We will learn more about adding new users and setting privileges in a separate tutorial. So I will click cancel and click next. The Windows service option creates a new Windows service instance with the given name. Make sure the start the MySQL server at system startup 
checkbox is checked so that MySQL server starts automatically when your operating system is started. If you uncheck this option, every time when you have to use MySQL server, you will have to manually start the MySQL server from Windows services. The default option for run Windows service as is fine, click next. The MySQL installer will secure the data directory at the following location. So give the installer full access to the directory. Keep the default value yes option and click next. Now the installer is ready to apply the configuration settings we selected in previous state. Click the execute button to apply the configuration settings. It will take a couple of minutes or less to apply the settings. Click finish. And we can see the configuration complete message here. Click next. Uncheck start MySQL workbench after setup option. And finally click this finish button to complete the installation process. Here we successfully completed the MySQL 8 database server installation. Now let's open the MySQL server to confirm if it works. Click the start menu. Select all apps. MySQL and click the MySQL 8.0 command line client option. Please note here we need to enter the MySQL root user password we set up during the installation. Enter the password. I will enter my root user password and press enter. If you see this MySQL prompt, then congratulations, you are successfully logged into your MySQL database server. Here we can execute SQL statements. Let me execute a couple of SQL statements to confirm MySQL database is working fine. Type show databases semicolon press enter. This SQL statement lists all databases in MySQL. Let's create a new database using create database pn tutorials semicolon. Here pn tutorials is the name of the database we are going to create. You can create a database name of your choice. Press enter. Press up arrow key to display previously executed commands and select show databases command and press enter. And sure enough our database was created successfully. Here we can confirm that our MySQL 8 database was installed successfully and working without any issue. I will type exit and press enter to log out of root user account. Here in this video tutorial, we learn how to download and install MySQL 8 database server on Windows 11 operating system. I hope the MySQL 8 installation steps in this video were easy to understand and follow. Now it's your time. Try MySQL 8 installation on your Windows 11 operating system. If you encounter installation errors or didn't understand something, you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video. Finally, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.